Belu Embassy Room manages a restaurant that was vandalized during protests. The miscreants came with daggers, machetes and other weapons. They took away our TV sets, the cash we had on us and food. The memories aren't good at all. Things are so expensive now, but gradually we're trying to pick up. This restaurant is just one out of many businesses that have suffered losses as a result of the protests. Operators here say they weren't just attacked. Phones and cash were also stolen from customers having lunch. Nigeria's Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment says over $300 million has been lost to destruction as a result of the protests. This particular protest uh, revealed one other part of the society that was not known. That's juvenile miscreants. And it was difficult to control them because of ignorance and illiteracy. The uh, presence, you know, of a large number. They are not only unemployed youths, but unemployable youths. They are not employed, you know, and they, so, they too also took advantage of the uh, And then, principally, you have a lot of idle people. According to the governor of Borno State in the country's northern region, Baba Ganazulum says over 90% of those who participated in the protest were younger than 14. Some states imposed curfews. Public affairs analysts are calling for improved service delivery and education and job opportunities for young people to avoid a repeat of violent protests. People could not go to work, so productivity came to a standstill, especially in majority of the metropolis. Two things critically here. One is for the government to address the demands of the protesters. Secondly, is to address, you know, the growing concern of what produces those numbers of juvenile miscreants, you know, what produces this, those numbers of idle people, you know, and then what will make more of our youths employable and productive. President Bola Tinubu says he has heard the demands of the people and is promising the government will put in place better policies. The government has also unveiled a roadmap to ensure the return of over 15 million children of school age who are not in school back to education by 2027. Belu Mbasiri hopes he won't ever see similar violence and damage to his business again. Tasum Akendi, CGTN Jobs.